you have preached about this already, and I'm sure some of the televiewers have already heard about this. But can we uh, go back a little, Pastor, about you know, you have said that the sun is the new creation. And when the sun will be revealed, then the new heavens and the new earth will come. Mm -hmm. So, Pastor, can you tell us, first of all, why do the sun has to be revealed first before all these things will come? Well, because uh, the sun, even in the Jewish setting, is the fulfillment of the covenant. Mm -hmm. uh, the sun in the Jewish setting is the fulfillment of the old covenant. Old, Old Testament that uh, the Jewish people relied upon for the righteousness and salvation. And uh, they did not know that uh, the Old Testament that was given to them was just a shadow of the things to, to come. come. And uh, all of this were fulfilled in the sun, in the Jewish setting, which uh, was in the life of uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. So he was the fulfillment of the Old Testament. He was the one that the Old Testament was talking about. But what the people in our days today did know that uh, when he came, the Old Testament has expired. The Old Testament is irrelevant. It's just in our Bible because uh, it's uh, historic. You know, we can glean from uh, the Old Testament, all of the words of uh, the prophets, righteous men. But most of all, the most important thing about the Old Testament is it, that it talks about the coming of the Savior, the yeah. coming of the Messiah, uh, who was the fulfillment of what the prophets talk about, which, is, uh, which are all in the Old. So the Torah, which is uh, the five... The, the, the five books, the first five books of the Bible, is a, uh, is, if you digest and analyze all of that, is uh, talking, uh, was talking about the life of Jesus Christ in its totality. Uh, it depicts the life of Jesus Christ in its totality. So it was really a shadow of the things to come. So when uh, the fulfillment came, who was Jesus Christ in the Jewish setting, then the Old Testament became irrelevant. But what many did not know was that he brought with him a new covenant, a mm -hmm. new covenant waiting to be fulfilled. A new covenant is the new covenant focused on man, focused on the salvation of man who was the direct descendant of Adam and Eve. They were the focus. We were the focus of the uh, perfection of salvation through the new covenant. And this is what many do not understand. And they right. thought that Jesus Christ was the fulfillment of the New Testament. No, he brought the New Testament to us. Yes, he is the uh, perfect creation, the perfect example of what the first Adam who was the focus of his salvation, should go to and should uh, look upon to uh, because he is the creation of God. He's the image of God. And he's the model. He's the example in which uh, the Lord was telling us, the Father was telling us, you know, uh, this is my creation. Amen. The Son is my creation. You're supposed to be like him. You follow his way, and you'll become like him. He brought unto us this new covenant, Amen. this new covenant that is waiting to be fulfilled. So when he left, he left with us the new covenant. That's why the new covenant is the relationship of God with man from the time Jesus Christ ascended to heaven until the time uh, when the perfection of his creation will uh, already come, uh, which is called the Son. He's the new man. He's the result. He's the fulfillment. And He is the production of the new covenant that Jesus Christ brought upon this earth. So, you know, look at the, look at the sequences of His life. Uh, 
in our uh, revelation the Father had given us, the seed faith doctrine, where it started. Talking about Christianity, it started, and this parable was uh, was uh, given to us in Mark chapter four, verse twenty-four. And you will notice from that verse, from those verses following, that uh, the seed of the, the life of the seed Jesus was talking about there actually was the life of the Son that will go through the processes of time until it goes back to the original. You know, the, 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 the face of the, the nature and the face of the first planted seed uh, is going to return to the original but not right away it will it will go through a process first you know the life would come out and you see the blade and then after the blade you see the body and after the body you see the blossom and after the blossom you see the uh, the uh, corn cob and all of these processes uh, in the life of the seed uh, have many different, uh, have many different uh, variations or, uh, or uh, different uh, uh, qualities or different phases. But they are all, you know, connected to the life of the corn, of the seed. But it goes through so many different phases. But the end result is, uh, the conclusion of that is, uh, it goes back to the original, original. which is the seed. Now, uh, John 12, 24 says, not one, but many. It will Amen. produce many, many seeds that will bear the life of the first original seed which is the life of Jesus Christ. Now is the fulfillment of that. Praise Lord. So, Pastor, the purpose why Jesus came was to really produce that seed. His was, life went through yes, different processes. Yes. So, you know, in, in the revelation the Father had given us, the different denomination yes. and religion, religion that came in Christianity step by step, uh, Romans 1.17 was uh, uh, at play when the Bible says that the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, from faith to faith. So from face to face, from glory to glory, it That's is right. going to be revealed. And the revelation of the Father would come from faith to faith also. So it's not just one single faith or one single process uh, that will happen. So, uh, you see, when one of the phase of the life of the seed comes, the other one, which is the first one, becomes irrelevant. It becomes unimportant. It, ex it ex expires. Yes, faster, yes, it expires. So, you have to go to the latest revelation. You have to go to the latest phase. That's and right. then uh, it all concludes into the seed. When the seed arrives, which is the depository of life, which, is, which has the image of the original, then uh, that's the end. The end will come. And next is the harvest. That's what right. will the farmer you know, harvest during the time of the harvest? He doesn't harvest the, the processes in which the seed went through. He does not harvest the blade. He does not harvest the the body of the corn or the blossom or the, even the corn cob, which is closest to the seed. His only interest is the harvest, which is the seed. When it is separated from all of the processes uh, that the seed went through, then all of this is rejected. So the blade is only important as far as the seed is concerned. Uh, the seed is only important uh, when the seed is not there yet. But when the seed is already seen, when the seed has arrived and has matured and the harvest has come, all of these processes 
becomes irrelevant. They are now unimportant. And look at the harvest. When harvest time comes, you know, the uh, farmer separates the seed from all of the processes it went through. And all of this becomes unimportant. That is why when the sun comes, religion and denomination, which was the passage way, which is the, uh, the, uh, the way in which the seed came, becomes irrelevant. He just passed through there, but did not stay there. But he is going to produce the production of the new covenant, the new testament is the new man. The new man which has the image of the original. The original life that was planted is the Son, Jesus Christ. And naturally, it will end up with us because salvation was given to the Gentiles so that it will end up with us. So the, the life of Jesus Christ will also come out from us, from the Amen. Gentiles. Pastor, Pastor, when a person repents, um, in the same way that the revelation has been from faith to faith, passing through different stages, mm -hmm. a person growing into maturity until the, 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 the life of Christ is full in him would also pass through all these stages, all these stages that you have reached the stages of maturity from mm -hmm. infancy into adulthood. Mm -hmm. Is that the same analogy? Well, in... in, uh, in, uh, in, in not exactly, because we are talking here of uh, uh, of physical uh, of physical uh, uh, growth of the life of the seed, uh, which took us about two thousand years. No, but when you talk about the being born again in the spirit experience in the seed faith ministry or in the kingdom ministry then you go through that process of spiritual growth in the kingdom ministry. You are talking now about the spiritual growth which can take place in one day or uh, right. one week according to the absorption of spiritual knowledge that is in you and then according to your commitment and dedication and according to uh, the faith, the, the, the measure of faith that is given to you. Because the measure of faith given unto each one of us is different uh, from one another. You may have uh, a greater measure of faith given to you. Uh, some others might have a lesser measure of faith given to them. So it takes uh, a little while for them to mature and go into the process of uh, maturity. While some others, you know, they go quickly into it. That is the difference between... Uh, spiritual growth in the seed faith ministry in the kingdom and what we are talking about, the processes of the life of the Son of God or the life of the seed uh, when, it, when, it, when it comes into its fruition and now has produced a son in our midst who is the fulfillment of what he said in the new covenant. The new covenant should produce a new man. This new man is not called a Christian. He's never called a Christian. He's called a son of God. And from that, you know, uh, many, many sons of God or children of God will be produced after that. We'll go after him because he's now the model also. My model is my father. Jesus Christ is the model as the son in the Jewish setting. So that's why the Father gave him, so that uh, he could be the one to establish the uh, new covenant that will be given to us, which is the perfection of all the covenants. And the new covenant produced the Son after 2,000 years through the processes that it went through. And then, now the Son has come, and the Son is the creation, is the creature after the image of the Creator. So the Bible was talking about that. That we will be created according to the image of the Creator. And that is the new man. 
having the body of the first Adam, but the spirit of the second Adam, the spirit of obedience to the perfect and complete will of the Father. And uh, that model of the sonship that was given to us in the Jewish setting is also the model of the sonship given to us in the Gentile setting. Because when we talk about righteousness, there is no one that will be more righteous than the life of the Son or than the life of Jesus Christ, who is the Son. Now sits on the throne as the Father because He made a new covenant. And the new covenant will produce a new man after His image. But Pastor, you have said earlier that these different stages in the life of a corn represent the different denominations and mm -hmm. religions. Pastor, why can't they be unified in faith since they are related to one another? And they should be happy now that the final stage of the life of the corn has been revealed. Uh, they can be if they want to, if they will open up their, their hearts and their minds uh, and be open up to the revelation of, of, of the Spirit because the revelation of the Spirit is a continuous revelation until it produces the new man. Uh, the new covenant does not want to produce a denomination. Never. It's, uh, it's far from the plan of God to produce uh, a church, uh, a church the way we know it today, a church that is in the denomination or religion or the system of such, uh, such institutions. Never was uh, that in the mind of God. So it was twisted and thwarted. And now we, uh, uh, we received a uh, polluted uh, production of what should not be produced. They produced, you know, a, a so-called church. They produced the church, which is, in fact, when you see it, is a system of Babylon. It's a system of denomination and, and religion that, uh, that uh, really does not uh, represent what the Father in heaven had in mind when he gave us the Son. No, it was not. The new covenant should produce a son. He should produce the new man. Because, you know, okay, uh, it is not re religion and denomination that will go to heaven for us. In fact, this will not even be talked about there. That's we will not even talk about these things there. We'll be talking about the salvation focused on man, the, the, the race of the first Adam, uh, that was uh, separated because of disobedience and sin, and nobody can solve that. So when the Son came, uh, He brought about the greatest change that could happen. They can, they can do it if they want to, but the, 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 uh, the thing that people hate is change. They don't want to change. Look at those that are in the blade ministry or in the blade or in that first stage of faith. What they have received, you know, they just stick there. And, and you can glean it from what they say. You know, I was born here, I'll die here. I'm contented with this, no more, no less. They don't want to listen to any other revelation anymore. You know, they, 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 they are having a hard time trying to dissect whether this is of God or not. So that this is only reserved for the children of God, for those who have established now their own righteousness, you know, although they are included in God's righteousness because uh, they are stages of the faith going towards maturity, but when they rejected the revelations that go and come after that, then, you know, they became, uh, they became uh, uh, the groupings of men uh, who thought, that they still uh, represent God in His righteousness. So they, f they, they fell and uh, are, are uh, depicted or are, uh, uh, Paul the Apostle describes them 
in Romans chapter 10 verse 3, having their own righteousness and being ignorant of God's righteousness, they fail to submit to the righteousness of God. So they go about and establish their own righteousness. That was their sin. Their sin was not, uh, you know, uh, believing in the revelation uh, that the Father gave to them, although it was just how many percent. But the sin was sticking into it, although the progress of revelation is continuing. And they said, this is it. You know, this is the truth. We are, the, we are it. We are the production of the New Testament. It is not. The production of the New Testament, when you go into the end, is the seed itself. The image of the seed is going to be restored, including the life thereof, so that we have to wait for the sun. The production of the New Testament is the sun that will be produced from the race of the first Adam. When that happens, then that is when salvation has come. Yun ang kaligtasan. Thank you.